All right, I'm working on my 2004 Mazda 3i here today, and we're going to be replacing this uh, transmission mount over here on the driver's side. And uh, I'll show you what this thing looks like. Here's the new one. <clears throat> and what happens with these is they just, this rubber around here just starts cracking and deteriorating over time and start getting a lot of movement in there um, so we're just going to go ahead and get started just wanted to show you how I'm positioned with my jack here first and all I've done now this is a manual five speed so yours will be a little bit different with the automatic you'll have a pan under there but you just want to get a jack under there for support you may have to raise it up a little bit now you'll notice I also got a jack stand so just for safety so the first thing that um, we're gonna have to remove here is gonna be our battery cover and this will just kind of pop off it just kind of goes back in there and snaps down so we're just gonna go ahead and just get that out of the way and then this piece will just now you I don't have the snap here. I've already took this out. You'll probably have to take this one right here out. But this whole piece will just kind of just pull out of there. And you can just set it to the side. Now once we get that, we're just going to go ahead and start working on getting our battery bracket. And those, I believe, are going to be 10 millimeters. And this here is going to have to come off as well for the computer. I'm just going to go ahead and get that off. But we're going to go ahead and get started on these right here. Okay, so I'm just using my 10 millimeter here. And we're just going to take these holding the bracket first. Okay, and with those both out, we're just going to lift this up and get this bracket out of the way. Now we're just going to go ahead and use a 10, 10 millimeter and take our battery cables loose here next. Okay, and with those off, we're just going to go ahead and lift our battery up and out of the way. Okay, now with the battery removed, we're just going to go ahead and come over here and remove our decorative shroud next. It just will pop right up off of here. It just has little clips holding it. Just set that aside. And we're just removing that so we can get to this 10 millimeter right here easier. So we're just going to go ahead and take this loose so we can work on getting this out. Now on top of getting that loose, we're going to need to pop our air box clips loose. We've got another one here. We've got a hose as well that goes into a clip right there. Just pull that out of the way. So you got four of these. Now on top of that, you'll need to squeeze this and this thing will pull right off. This is just your little vacuum. We're just going to pull that back. We've got two connectors here. Just squeeze here. Give it a pull. Same thing here. Give that a pull. Okay, and with that out and with this loose right here, I've already got this loose, we should be able to just get this up and out of the way. We're just going to kind of twist on that a little bit. We'll pull this, take this completely out of the way. Now from here, we've got a little strap that holds this. We'll just need to pull up on that. Don't lose that piece. And this goes down into some grommets. You just give it a little pull. It pulls right up and out of there. Okay, now at this point, um, what we're going to do is go ahead. We've got three 10 millimeters in here. We're going to need an extension. We're going to get those three right there. Now, once we get those three loose, we'll move on to this right over here. Okay, now we're going to remove these for our computer. Um, they've got a little nub that catches on this, and what you have to do is just carefully either push this out 
You can do it either way. You can either kind of push that out or you can push that in and either way and then use your other hand to pull that upwards. Now, I can't do this one handed but you're going to push that in or carefully pull it out. Don't get too crazy with it you know and break it. It just takes a little bit and then it'll pop up. It's just a little safety uh, clip there just to hold it. So we're just going to go ahead and work on taking these lids. So we pull this completely up and those will come off. Okay, and I want to show you now once I got over that nub, this whole thing just pulls upwards and you can feel it. It'll, it'll only go so far. And once it gets up to that point, you'll be able to pull it completely up. Just like that. Now also be careful. Uh, don't get any debris. Cover this or whatever you need to do. Make sure you don't damage your pins. You know, cover it up. Just be very careful at this point. But I'm going to go ahead and get both of these loose and then we'll follow up. Okay, now you want to pay attention. These pretty much will only go one way, but you want to pay attention as to where they went and mark it. Like this one goes in the little front slot here and this one goes into the back. And they just slide right out like that and get them out of the way. It's not a bad idea to tape these up or cover this right here at this point. So the next thing that we're going to have to do is you'll notice we've got all these little clips for these wires. And what I'm going to do is take some needle nose, and you probably could do this with your fingernails. You just basically squeeze that together, and those just push through. And you can use some needle nose or, or just your fingernail. And Because uh, if you try to just pull them, it, it could break them. So we're going to go ahead and get these loose. Now you'll want to also pay attention to where they went and you can even mark them if you like so you put them back to where they go. Now with those out and this one out, this piece here will actually just lift up and out of there and we can just set that aside. And then you'll notice that this is running through here so we'll need to push that back as well and then we've got one more clip down there on the bottom that we need to get under there and, and squeeze those and get that pushed up and then on top of that we've got this that fastens in we want to make sure that we put that back to where it goes in that little nook there now once we get this one down here this whole thing will be ready to lift up and out here and so we can get to it when we pull it up like this show you what I was talking about using needle nose on these what I like to do is get down here some of these that are really stubborn and I'll just squeeze the back side of this and usually it'll just go right through no problem uh, let's see, I'm having trouble getting a hold of this one here for some reason okay so it's um, just about I just can't do this one-handed um, but a lot of times I'll just use them and just push it through and there it finally came out. Anyways, this thing's completely ready to come out. We're just like I said, we're going to set it aside and we'll cover up those pins to make sure we don't get any debris in there. Um, now at this point, we've gotten everything loose. We actually can see the bracket that goes over the mount. Uh, like I said, I've got it supported underneath. I've got a jack stand. Now, the first thing I like to remove is this right here. There's a 10 millimeter that holds this assortment of wires. So the first thing we're gonna do is remove that so we can be able to free up this bracket here. So I'm just gonna get on that with a, with a 10 millimeter and get that off of there. Okay, now we can just lift that up and off of there and it frees that up. Now the first thing that we're going to do here next is we've got a couple of tins right here. We're going to go ahead and take these two right here out. Okay, now I'm using my impact for these, but right down here we've got four of these 17 millimeters. And we're going to go ahead and just take these four out at this point. And then we're going to be able to remove this entire bracket. Okay, and with those out, 
this whole bracket will come up and off of there. I'm going to set that aside. Now the only thing that we've got left here is this center one and uh, I believe that it's the just one second I believe that it's a 17 yes and it is a 17 as well so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out of there and like I said make sure you got it supported before you do this because it's gonna fall at this point this is the only thing holding this side of the engine and transmission up okay now we just remove the mount and you'll notice this thing will want to shift on you so when we go to put this back in we may have to push the engine around we'll see and I just want to show you this is hundred and fifteen thousand miles and you can see right here already that this is separating right there so these don't last and I've seen them a lot worse than this I had another car that it was just completely coming off of there so now we're just gonna go ahead and uh, work on getting our new one into place here and this is going to set back on there like that and like I said you can see how my engine and transmission moved uh, it kind of like slipped forward but that's okay because I'm gonna I'm just gonna push it back and line it up and at this point um, I said if worst case I've got my my uh, cherry picker over there and I'll hook on to that um, my last car didn't move quite that much I don't really know why this moved quite so much but somehow or another the way I had it positioned on the jack it was able to come forward so we're gonna try to shift this back into position here before we go to fastening these nuts these four nuts we're going to try to get this center bolt into position first and just kind of push it back okay so i figured out what i did wrong as far as this thing shifting backwards i was just in the wrong location with my jack so i let it down on the jack stand and i repositioned it up here in the front because it wants to twist and I just got a hold of it right there and it just pushed it right back up and in, into position so I can get my bolt in there now and that's the first thing that I'm gonna do and I also put some Loctite on there and we're gonna get that torque down uh, I think I went 80 foot pounds either 75 or 80 foot pounds on it last time but main thing just get it good and tight I just went ahead and went 100 foot pounds on that. That's a big bolt. It ain't going to hurt it. And now, with this bolt in, we're going to go ahead and replace our bracket at this point. If I can get this thing in here one handed. Okay, so it's just going to go right down over the top of them. And we want to not forget this over here as well it goes over that stud and holds our wires so the first thing I'm going to do is, is I'm just going to lock tight these four nuts here and we're going to get those torqued down to like 80 foot pounds and then I'll follow up after we get these four on okay and with those four big nuts fastened and torqued down to 80 foot pounds we're just going to replace these two 10 millimeters right here and we lock tighted them as well and now we're just replacing the nut onto our harness over here and we're going to put some lock tight on that as well now these don't have to be very just snug them down same for those 10 millimeters don't get them real tight just snug them down real good Right now at this point we're just going to work on getting our battery box back in the position here and uh, we're just going to replace the three bolts and I'm probably going to need both hands to do this. Let's see what we can do. Okay. So yeah the first thing we're going to do is just get, 
get our three 10 millimeters back into here. And we're just gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, and on these, in this battery box, make sure you got them all started in good before you tighten any of them, because then it'll not wanna line up and an extension makes it a lot easier. Okay, now we're gonna replace our computer harness here. And that one goes in the front, and this longer one is gonna go in the back. We're gonna go ahead and get our front one lined up. We push it down as far as we can, and then we push down on this until it locks. Same way with the back. And push it down until it locks. Okay, now we're just gonna work on getting all of our wires back into position. This one hooks here. We gotta get our little piece. And it's going to slide down like this. And I've gotta get this on the inside is what it just lined back up again. Uh, okay, like that. And then this fastens right up here. And then we have this one here and then this big one right there and then those go to our other box so we've got everything okay my phone shut off in the middle of doing all this but I popped this breather box back down into the grommets and all I've done is connected the hose here I reconnected this it snaps on we put our wire connector here this one here and we pop this back on to our throttle housing and then we've just snapped these we'll snap these onto our box and then we also put this back on to here and uh, at this point we're just going to go ahead and get the battery back into place with our battery set in we're going to go ahead and replace this bracket here so now I'm just replacing the nuts that go on the bracket here. And then we're going to work on going ahead and getting our cables back on. And we're going to get those good and tight. And remember this goes right into here. And so now we're just going to go ahead and tighten these and get our cables tightened back down. Okay, and with our battery all fastened down and tight, we're just gonna replace this piece right here. And like I said, it just sets right down in there. And this sets right back onto that. And just like so. And we just push that down, we'll get our Get our battery cover, and you'll notice the clips in the back. You just slide it back that way first, and then it just snaps on. And we have left at this point is just our shroud, and it just has, of course, these things that it pops into, and we just line those up and pop those back down. So, like I said, I tried to. My phone just decided to shut off in the middle I was putting down the breather box, but you now you see me take it off. Hopefully it you know, makes sense. But that's everything. Um, we've got all this back together, and now we're just going to go ahead and take it for a test drive and, and see if uh, it's rattling any less than it was. And hopefully that can help, help somebody out, and I thank you all for watching.